STV, votre télé. Serein et apaisé. Viewers, good afternoon and thanks for joining us on this edition of the 1 p.m. English newscast on Spectrum Television. And we can start this edition of the news in the political capital, Yawundi, where for the very first time since the start of the November session of Parliament, the last session for the year 2017, SDF parliamentarians have answered present at the hemicycle in Yaoundé this Thursday. They have been interrupting works uh, uh, dedicated to the budget session since uh, morning 12 in numbers. These parliamentarians are demanding that the ongoing crisis in the two English-speaking regions of Cameroon be included on the agenda. Let's have more with Honorable Joseph Bandam uh, of the Social Democratic Front Party in the following extract. Please said that no work can go on here until we have found a definitive solution to the anglophone crisis. For more than one year, for more than one year, this house has been meeting and behaving as though there is no problem. Whereas we have continued to bury people on a daily basis. Before we came out here, we had to visit hospitals to see how many are lying in the various hospitals who were shot on their legs. And today, as we are talking, we have thousands of West Cameroonians out there in Nigeria and are becoming refugees. We have said that this house will not sit until it is sitting to find a solution for the Anglophone crisis. And that's why we are waiting. If the CBD has decided to run away, let them run as far as they want to be, they will come back to meet us here. Or if they do, they do not, then nothing will take place in this house. So All deliberation will take place when we have not yet found a solution to the anglophone crisis. Thank you. I simply said that no work can go on here. of that story in our subsequent editions of the news at 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. respectively. Cameroon and the Republic of Korea have over the years enjoyed rich cooperation ties in different domains. Meeting Wednesday in Yaoundé in a one-day seminar under the theme Exploring Possibilities for Greater Cooperation both parties sought to evaluate their achievements so far. Amina Abdul now outlines some of the achievements Cameroon have been able to enjoy from this cooperation ties with the Republic of Korea. Something as Actually, the, the main objective is to explore the possible uh, ways of improving cooperation between uh, Quaker Alumni Association, Quaker, and Quaker with the Korean Embassy. And uh, the, the final objective is to contribute in the development process of Cameroon. As you can notice, in the past years, Quaker Alumni Association has been very active in the urban and the rural area carrying out uh, development activities in different domains like and uh, within the socio-economic uh, 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 level. For example, in the area of humanitarian, we have been able to, to provide scholarships to uh, disabled and vulnerable persons. So far, we have taken care of about uh, 85 uh, vulnerable persons and orphans. We have paid their school fees and uh, and uh, provide. We have given them their school needs for two years. And 
Yaoundé, we take you back, we take you here to the Little Hawaii region, and we take you to the Douala Four municipality, where councillors of uh, that municipality have adopted the 2018 communal budget, which stands at 1.8 billion CFP francs. The budget that will be focused on the construction of roads where it was not well received by all councillors. Peter Soussi reports. Not all councillors of the Douala 4 municipality are satisfied with the communal budget for 2018, which stands at 1.8 billion francs CFA. Uh, we have to go deeply in the, the many detail in the budget, and we have noticed that the budget is not realizable. It's not, uh, it's just a budget that they present us. There are so many confusing uh, 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 things inside the budget. You can understand that the people who have write it are just preparing to collect money for themselves. And they have denied all debate. The budget, which has witnessed a 100 million francs CFA drop from projections made last year, was voted following heated debate on the issue Wednesday. For the communal executive, it is time to fold their sleeves and get to work. Adopted the budget, despite uh, the fact that uh, some people thought that by arguing, they may reverse the situation. It has been adopted, and we are going to only insist on apply, on realizing it at least above the uh, unacceptable. Uh, Percentage. Rehabilitation of the west entrance to the city, situated in the Douala 4 council area, has hampered revenue collection. But council authorities are upbeat that the budget will be realized with the gradual completion of this project. To go as usual to collect taxes in order to make up the budget and realize it. Yes, we all have to, we all have to depend on the funds that are decentralized for the realization of uh, uh, the, 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 our ambition, that is to make the population feel happier. The first assistant senior divisional officer for the Vore division who chaired the session has cautioned the mayor and his team to multiply sources of income and put the interests of the population first. The construction of roads is a top priority of the council in next year's budget. A seminar to train economic operators in Cameroon on the use of uh, digital signature through the public key infrastructure technology is on the way in the economic capital Douala. Organized by the National Agency for Information and Communication Technology, this uh, seminar aims to equip business persons on the use of digital signature to sustain and protect their e-commerce. Details in the following report. As e-business grew in scope and sophistication, so does cybercrime, a widespread and serious offense which weakens organizations and actors involved in the development of the country's economy. With the advent of the internet, you'll agree with me that mo most activities have moved online. I'm talking about in the area of governance, e-government, in the area of health, e-health, and in the area of commerce, e-commerce. As these activities move online, most criminals also move online with these activities. And inter-process transactions and communications between these online activities, unfortunately, well, fortunately or unfortunately, use the internet, which is unsafe. To respond to citizen security and boost their force in using e-services, the National Agency for Information and Communication Technologies, ANTI, is providing strong measures based on public key infrastructure technology. So we need to put in place mechanisms which can ensure the security of these online transactions. That's where public key infrastructure comes in handy. By providing authentication, meaning in online transactions, you don't get to see the person you are dealing with. So authentication ensures that you know the person you are dealing with is who he claims he is. Confidentiality, meaning that Information cannot be made available to any other third party. Data integrity ensures that the content of the data has not been modified by any third party. Non-repudiation ensures that 
people stay committed to previously taken engagements. So public infrastructure provides all the security services. These two and other web applications hosted by ANSIC to enhance effectiveness and efficiency of business processes and ensure transparency and accountability was at the center of discussions during a seminar to sensitize economic operators on online signatures. This seminar, which has as theme Digital Signature, a reality in Cameroon, will run from November 22 to November 24, 2017 in Douala. Education in this newscast, classes remain paralyzed at the University of Douala as lecturers enter day three of their strike action this Thursday. The university administration has resorted to disciplinary actions and a crisis meeting between the lecturers and the administration Wednesday uh, did not uh, heal any food. Peter associated with day two of the strike action. No lectures for students of the University of Douala Wednesday as lecturers enter the tour of their protest. And from all indications, they are not giving up anytime soon. La grève se poursuit, vous le voyez là, vous êtes dans le campus, il n'y a pas cours. La grève se poursuit parce que... The lecturers say they are disappointed with the state of affairs on campus, which is a disgrace to the teaching corps, the University of Douala and Cameroon as a whole. À l'Université de Douala, à l'enseignement supérieur et au Cameroun. A crisis meeting Tuesday between the striking senior lecturers and the administration represented by the technical advisor to the rector ended in a deadlock. There is a strong belief amongst them that the administration wants the strike called off without making adequate concessions towards their demands. They expect the administration to put the issues on the table, discuss them, and give concrete deadlines. In the face of the stalemate, authorities of the University of Douala have resorted to disciplinary actions against lecturers who fail to turn up for classes. Daily rosters have been opened and names of those who are absent recorded. One of the striking teachers was refused access to the School of Technology by security forces, causing tension on campus this morning. As students remain helpless and worried over the situation, their tutors have assured them that they will cover their programs through catch-up classes. Nous avons une semaine. Les cours reprennent lundi. Nous allons faire des rattrapages. Following the recent crackdown on illegal driving schools in the Vori Division, a newsroom sought it wise uh, to uh, take to look on the evolution of the business over the years. And we met with uh, a driving school operators in the 70s who now uh, lament the present situation now in Cameroon. Et à l'époque, pour être promoteur de Tecor, il fallait passer ne pas le ministère des Transports. Back in the days, you had to simply apply to the Ministry of Transport to get authorization. Attached to the application was a certificate of non-conviction. Today, the case is different, as these structures need to be verified before issuing a license for a driving school, making the process a little more complex. The demand for competent drivers in companies, institutions, and even the public has enhanced the availability of numerous driving institutions in the country, creating fissures for illegality. Now the government has to crack down. The number of road accidents today can be justified by the illegality. Back in the days, we had fewer and legitimate driving institutions, thus fewer road accidents. There was plenty of compassion. We took time to really train our students who came for the license. But today, it's been more of a money-making affair, with most licenses issued even without any training offered. Today, the process involves the application for the creation of a center at the Transport Ministry. And after a period of time, that is the time to install all the structures, a team from the Ministry would visit the site to confirm before issuing a license to operate. Unfortunately, this is usually not the case. Persons simply take upon themselves with strange names and titles to create unauthorized driving institutions. 
Away from that, Cameroonians have been advised to eat healthy food in order to stay, uh, to stay safe from diseases. This message was echoed yesterday in Yaoundé as Cameroon celebrated World Food Security Day 2017. Let's now get more advice from a food expert. I think the, nat the World uh, National Day of Food Security, you know that... Uh, Many people face the problem of uh, nutrition. So we, in the program, we try to bring, to help the, the rural people, how to in, they, they can improve their way of eating, how to produce, how to transform product in a good uh, food in Cameroon. And we also have, you know that Cameroon have many, many diverse climates. There is some area, like northern part of the country, and the east part of the country, those areas face many problems of lacking of food. So the program is there to, 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 to help them. And they face also the problem of uh, migration of people coming from the neighboring country. They face the problem of criminal uh, groups who attack the population and the population leave the, the cultivated area to come to the town, to come to the another town, and they increase the problem of food security in those places. So the National Day for Food is very important. It can make people to understand that the problem of food security, we have to go on to fight to bring people to eat very well. And the government is there to help the people by giving seeds, by training them, by showing them how they can transform the product in a good food for the population. The ninth edition of the Christmas Market Championed by the Douala City Council has been launched. The yearly event which provides Douala City dwellers an avenue to buy and sell Christmas gifts will officially go operational as from December 15 to January 7th at the Camter B Panda Club year in Douala. Sport football in this new stars, new stars of Douala have continued to intensify preparations ahead of the 2017 grand finale of the Challenge Cup of Cameroon. John Paul Sama are now present to us the training of uh, the team ahead of the grand finale. Last minute instructions dished out to the players of New Stars Football Club of Douala by their coaching staff. Training sessions are intensified as the boys of Douala are pulled together by the urge to write their names down the annals of history by winning the Cup of Cameroon edition 2017. And before training begins, God is put in the forefront. After that, the real business of the day begins as the players go into a frenzy mode before the technical team steps in to dish out the instructions. The boys then take to the field with ball control being at the core of their training session. This done under the watchful eyes of their indefatigable president for Stan Domke at the Douala Reunification Stadium. Everything is set for the finals as far as New Stars Football Club of Douala is concerned. Uh, la préparation est l'avance et nous attendons juste que la date de la finale soit fixée, mais nous sommes tous, uh, tous fins prêts pour la finale. The fans on their part are not indifferent as they have briefed all the odds to watch their team train as well as give them a pat on the back. Actually, uh, we are the home, we are the home base uh, fan club. Actually, as the players are training, we are equally training. You saw as they are on the start, the, the playing ground, we are equally beside the, the, the garden, equally training. So we, are, we hope that this new star will... We have to say goodbye to them as they are going to Limbe to take up for Yaoundé. So the fan club is equally mobilizing to see that the team works, uh, the, the, the supporters are informed. Actually, that's a, a, UMS is not a team that came from, uh, from heaven. 
we have been playing UMS. But at this stage of the, of the competition, new star, you know, who couldn't have hoped the new star. But at the end of the season, people could discover that new star was a team that could uh, go as far. So UMS is just a team like any other team. But what is certain is that the supporters are doing everything at that level to make sure that new star carries the day. New star, new star actually, the, the, that's a 90 minute match. New star is going to win by two goals to one. As it all began, so it ends with them calling on the Lord Almighty to see them through as they prepare to move to the seaside town of Limbe where they are expected to continue sharpening their skills while awaiting the D-Day. November session of Parliament, SDF parliamentarians have disrupted works at the National Assembly this Thursday. They are demanding that the crisis rocking the two English-speaking regions of the country be included on the agenda. We shall be having development of that story in our subsequent editions of the news at, uh, at 7 p.m. with Leila Renganze for the French news and 8 p.m. join Henry Wana for the news in the English language. Good afternoon for watching and stay in the company of programs on STV. STV, votre télé.